Hi, this is John Humphreys. This is just a really quick tutorial on how to point Google domains at Heroku or OpenShift or any of those other providers very easily. I found lately that, uh, number one, creating a new domain on Google domains and pointing it at Heroku is extremely easy. And number two, actually, I migrated a iPage domain to Google and it went from being about $160 a year because they make you do that strange basic plan to $12 a year on Google. And that's fantastic because the site was hosted for free anyway on uh, OpenShift and, you know, that brings the cost down massively. Uh, both things went very easy. Creating domain is incredibly easy and transferring it was also almost no work. So the only thing that was a little difficult was... Uh, figuring out how to correctly point a domain from Google Domains to one of these things yourself. Because uh, if you are being hosted with iPage or something, you could actually call them up and ask them to create a C name or whatever you need to forward yoursite.com to yoursite.herokuapp.com. But if you're using Google Domains, you kind of have to figure out how to do that yourself. They do have tutorials, but you know the smallest error makes it not work. So anyway... Uh, the second time I did it, it literally took me about 60 seconds, I think. And it actually refreshed fast. I think the site was up about a minute later. So anyway, if you're on Google Domains, you just have to click in to DNS to jump in. And once this loads up, you scroll down, and there will be a section about synthetic records and custom resource records. Now, I've already filled this out just to make sure there's no error in this video. Basically, if you look at this screen, we're creating a subdomain up here, and it's already been created. You see it down here. This is the result you should get after doing it yourself. But this is the stuff I had to text, type into the text boxes above to create what's down here. You type in an at sign. That means that you're forwarding the root domain. So basically what we're doing here is we're saying that we want www yoursite.com to go to the same place as yoursite.com. That way if people add or forget the www, your stuff still works. But we're still talking about yoursite.com here. So we haven't talked about how you can actually get yoursite.com to go to yoursite.heroku.com or yoursite.openshift.com or whatever hosting provider you've chosen. That actually happens down here with the custom resource records. You actually need something called a CNAME for that. So we're basically going to say that we want yoursite.com to go to your site that, say, rhcloud.com for OpenShift, for example. So again, what you want to end up with in the user interface is this down here. I've already done this. It already works. And to get it down there, there are a lot of options in here. You want to do www. So you're going to say when somebody types www yoursite.com, you want a C name that directs them to this, yoursite.rhcloud.com or whatever your host, your real website is that's given to you by Heroku or OpenShift or any other provider. So again, once you've done what's in these two text boxes and hit add, everything should be completely set up and you should be able to go to yoursite.com and have it go in the background secretly to OpenShift or wherever you're hosting your stuff and everything will work beautifully. And it says that could take up to 48 hours, I think. I forget how long the DNS records can take to propagate. But when I just did it a few minutes ago for website, it was literally up in about a minute and a half. So you could get lucky. But just keep in mind that after you do this, it could take up to a couple of days before it, you actually see the link pointing to the correct place. Probably won't though, so good luck with that. Anyway, I hope you find this useful. Uh, it took me about a day playing around to get this the first time and 60 seconds the next time. So I hope it's only 60 seconds for you. And uh, subscribe if you like the video and more will be coming soon. Thanks.